सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डन थ्री वीडियोज इन दिस चैप्टर रेजोनेंस ओके सो दोज हैव नॉट सोन सीन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज प्लीज गो एंड वॉच देम थ्री वीडियोज आर ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड इन अवर चैनल एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द चैप्टर रेजोनेंस ओके आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट इन अ डिटेल मैनर द डिराइवेशन ऑफ सीरीज रेजोनेंस क्वालिटी फैक्टर एक्सप्रेशन बैंड विथ definition of bandwidth the relationship of uh, cut off frequencies and half power frequencies with respect to the power all of them and all the important derivations you have covered in these three sessions so please those who have not watched it go and watch it then uh, again come to this video and watch this video because uh, these concepts are very important because if you want to understand the basics of resonance that is the problems mostly the problems should be asked and if possible they would be asking this derivation so that's why the detailed notes i'm providing it to all i'm just explaining it okay uh, through this uh, video so please watch till the end guys don't skip any part of the video like this video before you go further so now let us discuss we have done with the bandwidth part now so now let us discuss some of the important expressions and derive few expressions in terms of selectivity okay so what is this selectivity now bandwidth path is done let us see what is selectivity selectivity of a resonant circuit is defined as the ability of the circuit to discriminate or distinguish the equation of desired and undesired frequencies it is defined as the ability of a circuit to discriminate the discrimination part is the selectivity to distinguish the equation in terms of desired and undesired frequency selectivity what it does is the it uh, eliminates the unwanted frequencies and keeps the wanted frequencies keeping both the frequencies in in mind okay it is also defined as the ratio of resonant frequency to the bandwidth that is selectivity is defined as the ratio that is f0 divided by f2 minus f1 we know that uh, the expression of bandwidth is f2 minus f1 so this is the exp expression of selectivity that is f0 divided by f2 minus f1 so now let us try to derive some of the uh, expressions using this uh, equation of selectivity since uh, f2 minus f1 is equal to r divided by 2 pi l which you have already seen in the previous uh, ex uh, expression right uh, previous session that is uh, f2 minus f1 is equal to r by 2 pi l you have seen it okay that only i have write i have written it here now s that is selectivity the expression of selectivity is f0 divided by bandwidth right what is the bandwidth bandwidth is f2 minus f1 that is equal to r by 2 pi l so that is s is equal to f0 divided by r by 2 pi l now what i am doing is this 2 pi l i am bringing it to the numerator so what you would be getting 2 pi f0 into l divided by r where this 2 pi f0 is equal to omega not l so this is the expression of selectivity that is selectivity is equal to omega not l by r and we know that the expression of omega not l by r is equal to q not that is the quality factor right so what we would be getting the selectivity value that would be getting equal to q not that is selectivity would be equal to the quality factor with the applied condition that uh, the the for the resonating frequency it is equal to the quality factor okay we have used this expression of f not divided by bandwidth and we have proved one condition that for selectivity for resonating frequency it is always equal to the quality factor so if they ask any question related to find the selectivity okay nothing much to do what we can do is if they have the uh, if they have not given the specific values for uh, the frequencies and all whatever the quality factor expression you know that data if it is given the quality factor whatever you get that would be equal to selectivity okay only for resonating frequencies only when the circuit is resonant this is the condition selectivity equal to q not since omega 2 minus omega 1 that is the difference between the half power frequencies which have seen that is equal to r by l we have q is equal to omega not l by r so what i am making it here is i am converting this equation in terms of r by l i want r by l in one side using this equation so what i am doing is R, I am bringing it to other side, cross multiplying. L, I am bringing it to other side, and rest all the terms I am bringing it to other side. That is, R, if we bring it to other side, it will be coming to the numerator, and L, if we bring it to other side, it will be coming to the denominator. So R by L is equal to omega naught divided by Q, right? Again, we have R by L here common in these two equations, and so we can equate these two parts. That is, omega two minus omega one is equal to omega naught by Q. So now what we will be getting? Uh, 
omega 2 omega is equal to 2 pi f so 2 pi uh, 2, 2 pi is common here so take it outside 2 pi into f2 minus f1 is equal to what is omega naught 2 pi f naught by q so 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled we would be left with f2 minus f1 is equal to f naught by q or q is equal to f naught divided by f2 or q bring this q to other side and f2 minus f1 to other side q is equal to f naught divided by f2 minus f1 hence proved what we have proved that is the selectivity is equal to quality factor we have defined according to the definition of selectivity f naught is equal to f2 minus f1 but you have proved that selectivity is equal to q naught so what we have got the expression of q here if we solve this we would be getting q is equal to f naught divided by f2 minus f1 f1 which is same as selectivity okay so that we have proved one condition that is selectivity is equal to q naught for all the resonating circuits okay so this is one important concept related to selectivity all the formulas keep it in mind because the problems would be coming based on these formulas only okay so now let's continue we have one more expression that is uh, according to the resonance condition we know that the resonating part that is equal to the uh, resistance right that is omega l minus 1 by omega c is equal to plus or minus r so since we have plus or minus r again i'm splitting this to two half power frequencies one is omega 1 and omega 2 that is omega 2l minus 1 by omega 2c is equal to plus r and omega 1l minus 1 by omega 1c is equal to minus r okay at omega equal to omega 2 and at omega equal to omega 1 okay so from equation 1 what we can see uh, say as this equation in this equation multiply both sides by omega 2c because uh, we need uh, this in terms of one quadratic equation solve this like this we will be getting one quadratic equation here apply the quadratic formula and try to find the roots of uh, omega 2 here like this we got one equation by solving here okay i have uh, i am not going to explain it step by step because it will be taking a lot of time okay see this how i have done it uh, this is just pure mathematics okay pause the video and refer it Okay, like this, I've solved here. I've substituted the value of a, b, c. Since the quadratic equation formula, you know it, right? Minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, that only I've done it here, or where by substituting the value of a, b, and c, and I've got one expression for omega 2 that is equal to r by 2l plus square root of r by 2l the whole square plus 1 by lc. Name it as equation 3. Also from equation 2, again multiply. Now multiply both sides by omega 1 c ok. So what we would be getting again we would be getting one quadratic equation here apply quadratic formula and try to find the roots and we would be getting one equation for omega 1 like this that is minus r by 2l this is one change here. Here we have plus r by 2l and here we are having minus r by 2l plus square root of r by 2l the whole square plus 1 by lc name, name it as equation 4. Now what I am doing is I am subtracting equation 4 and equation 3. Why I am subtracting because I want to eliminate this r and r I want to combine and uh, I want to eliminate this uh, factor here. Okay. These two factors I want to eliminate and keeping these two factors only. Okay. So that's why I am subtracting what we will be getting omega 1 minus omega 2. This this minus this would be equal to 0. It would be getting cancelled. And this minus this this minus of minus so it would be plus right so that would be minus 2r by r uh, uh, 2l okay that is omega 1 minus omega 2 2 to gets cancelled would be left with minus r by l okay that is if you uh, reverse it and write it as minus omega 2 plus omega 1 or we can say that take minus common minus of omega 2 minus omega 1 because minus minus is plus again would be getting plus omega 1 so that's why I have written it as minus of omega 2 minus omega 1 in order to cancel this minus sign okay so what we would be getting final expression as omega 2 minus omega 1 is equal to r by l that is the bandwidth okay which have proved here the difference of half power frequencies by just uh, doing the what to say quadratic equation part now in the first we have considered these two values of omega 1 and omega 2 right these two values now write those values here okay after writing this generally we know that r by 2l is strictly less than 1 by square root of lc right so what we can do is we can neglect that by neglecting hence uh, minus r by 2l 
plus 1 by square root of LC. Since this is strictly less than that, so this would be nearly equal to 0. So these two would be getting eliminated here. Omega 1 is equal to minus R by 2L plus 1 by square root of LC. Okay, that is minus R by 2L plus 1 by square root of LC. So what is 1 by square root of LC is equal to omega naught. Okay, so omega 2 is equal to again R by 2L minus R by 2L plus omega naught is equal to omega 1 and R by 2L plus omega naught is equal to omega 2. So these are the equations we got here. One is omega 1 is equal to omega naught minus R by 2L. Omega 2 is omega naught plus R by 2L. Okay. Now we will be getting one more expression that is if we add these two equations in order to eliminate this term here that is minus R by 2L and plus R by 2L. We know that if we add this these two will be getting cancelled up. So what we will be getting is omega 1 plus omega 2 is equal to 2 times omega naught. Okay. Because omega naught plus omega naught is 2 omega naught. Omega 1 plus omega 2 is equal to 2 times omega naught. So omega naught is equal to omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2. And this expression is called as the arithmetic mean. Okay. Omega naught is equal to omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2. This expression is named as arithmetic mean which you have proved using this big derivation. That is whenever the quality factor Q is high or we can say that it is greater than 5 the arithmetic mean of omega 1 and omega 2 are almost identical okay identical means almost equal okay whenever the quality factor is high the arithmetic means are almost identical keep that in mind and this is the expression which we obtained for arithmetic mean okay so these were some of the theory stuffs which I have discussed in this four sessions hope this is clear so that's all for this session guys we have discussed uh, a lot and in, in this we have uh, till now we have discussed the role of bandwidth and selectivity in order to get the final expression of arithmetic mean and many many relations we have discussed of half power frequencies and uh, maximum power uh, uh, of uh, when we have half of the maximum power what the bandwidth expression would be getting and what we should be getting changed and we have seen the arithmetic mean expression as well so please uh, keep this you know, keep all of these things in mind and whatever equations have highlighted right those equations are very important because after the after this session in the next session i'm going to discuss with the problems here straightforward problems if you understand the question very well you should understand the question very well and you should be uh, coming into that stage that what formula needs to be applied in order to get our result okay that is a very tricky part we should be knowing what formula to be applied so that's why these all things which I have done right in these three, three sessions, all the expressions are interrelated to each other. So all the, all of the expressions you should be having a thorough uh, uh, knowledge about that. So please watch my videos till the end in order to understand all of them. Okay, so that's all guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Please support us guys. Share this playlist to a huge number, especially for third sem students. Okay, that's all guys. Thank you.